What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is a beautiful Saturday in Amarillo, Texas. It's really nice out. It's going to get hot today. Anyways, we are headed to Lubbock, Texas today to get some fun in with the tank thing. But before we get into today's video, huge, huge shout out to my brother, Cali Boy Kev. You know, he does uh, so many things for me that go like unnoticed and uh, sometimes you forget to appreciate people like that in your life and because you know we get so busy and get so caught up in things that are going on on the day to day basis but when I look back at a whole like the things he's done for me is he's changed my whole life and it's you know there was a time when him and I didn't live in the same state you know for five or six years when he lived here and I lived in Colorado and that sucks because Kevin and I aren't like your typical bros like we're super close we can hang out all the time, not get annoyed of each other. We can run a business together. I mean, it's just, we do so many things together. So it sucked the time that I didn't live near him, but now I live in Amarillo and uh, it's just been a blast, man. It's been a long ride. It's been fun. We are just busy all the damn time, but uh, ooh, Mini Cooper getting it. Okay, I see you. Anyways, yesterday out of nowhere, Kevin freaking buys me a 15 inch MacBook Pro. So I had a laptop a MacBook when I first moved here and I sold it used that money for some other things plus I was using the Mac desktop that we have I was using that a lot more often because I had more storage and my laptop was getting too full too easily so I hadn't been using a laptop in a while and uh, lately over like the year and like a year and a half I've been traveling a lot I mean not all the time but I travel more than I used to and so not being able to edit on the road and having to edit like wait till you get home to edit it kind of sucks so Kevin hooked it up with a brand new 15 inch MacBook Pro, top of the line. Woof, it looks so good. It's like that space gray or whatever color that is. It looks so sick, but huge shout out to Kevin. Like he did not have to do something like that, but uh, I really appreciate him no matter what, but it's, it's just cool that he went out of his way, spent that much money because he knew that I really wanted one. And I've honestly kind of been needing one because I've really been pushing our media business. So, before I get choked up and start crying on camera, let's get into the rest of today's video. Since I knew I was going to Lubbock, I wanted to get the truck cleaned and detailed, and boy, this truck, every time it's clean, it just reminds me how much I love this truck. I mean, honestly, even when it's dirty, I love this truck, but would you just look at it? And even did the inside. So my boy, John Mark, Sky Drake Detailing, hooked it up. And the, gosh, the interior looks immaculate. The interior usually gets dirty because it is my daily driver. And sometimes I'll like have to eat on the way to work. I gotta drink energy drinks. I know that's not a bang. Don't freak out, we'll talk about that later. But look how good that looks. John Mark did an awesome job. Oof, look at that. I don't even like chrome, but the chrome looks good. Anyways, we are headed to Lubbock today. Uh, one of my good buddies let me actually borrow his super nice single car hauler trailer. And uh, he didn't want to be named because he doesn't want people asking to borrow his trailer all the time. So he did message me and he's like, hey man, you can borrow the trailer, just don't tell anybody, I'll let you borrow it. Because he doesn't want people hitting him up all the time, which I totally respect. So, got this nice split dovetail single car hauler trailer. We're gonna get the Mustang on here and we're gonna get our asses to Lubbock. I'll see you guys on the road. Oh, look at them feet, boy! Dang! We are back in the 2019 Ram 1500. I just had to shower because I stank and I was dirty, but we've got the Mustang all loaded up. Let me actually show you guys what it looks like loaded up. I know, my trailer experts out there, relax. Take your heart medication, don't have a heart attack. I know a lot of people don't like when people strap through the wheels. However, that's how I've always done it. I have plenty of friends that do it. I've never had a problem with it. Now they do make wheel specific straps. However, I've tried those and they don't fit because I have front skinnies and I usually have a little bit bigger radial or a slick for some cars in the back. So those have never worked for me. They do make mounts that mount to your car and that's honestly the best way, uh, having like chassis mounted places to actually strap the car down. But I've never had a problem with going through the wheels. So let me show you guys the setup we got here. So another thing, and I need your guys' help, comment down below, but it's starting, it always sags a lot in the back. Now this happened last time I towed a car 
and it looks worse because I have a front spacer on the truck so if the truck was stock height in the front it wouldn't look as bad but because I have that spacer it makes it look a little worse than it actually is so I kind of need your guys help comment down below the best airbag system for the rear because I will need a little bit of an airbag system to bring the rear up that way it's level and we got the correct height we've got a maxed trailer I think it's a 20 foot and so like I said I've got the wheels strapped down I did cross the straps because it does distribute the weight a lot better but like I said I did strap it around the wheels so huge shout out to my buddy once again for letting me borrow the trailer I don't know why he's yelling at it hell no <laughs> Ooh. So yeah, we've got the Mustang loaded up and we are ready to head to Lubbock. Got the AC going, got to get the cooling seats on, tow haul mode. Cupcake, you ready? She's always ready. She's ready to go. So I'm going to go get some food and we're in tow haul mode and we're ready to tow. Well, one more thing before we get on the road, as you guys know, I always bring all my cameras, my GoPros, my Sonys, and I'm always charging all the batteries. So typically all of my charging ports are taken up. However, I've got this cell phone mount. I've never actually had a cell phone mount in any of my cars, but I've always wanted one and it's hard to find one that works well. So today we're gonna try out this grip, all in one universal mount. And the coolest thing about this thing is that it actually has a wireless charger built in. So this one is a universal, it's a suction cup. So you can pretty much put the suction cup anywhere you want. I'm gonna put it on the windshield today, but this is from the people at Grip Phone Mounts. They also make a tablet mount as well, and uh, you can swivel the phone so it's vertical or horizontal. So you can click the link down below if you guys would like to purchase one, and I'm actually gonna give some of these away on my next live chat. So you can check them out at watchmegrip.com. They are an authorized vendor with Verizon Wireless, so actually you can go and buy these on Verizon's website as well, but yeah. Super nice packaging, super legit, and uh, we're gonna try this mount out today. It's a pretty cool one. This is actually a CD mount, so you can actually put this one into your CD player, tighten it down, and use that one as a cell phone mount. I actually have a DVD player, but it's down there, so that's not gonna work. Actually, it's a CD player. I don't know why I said DVD. This doesn't have any movies, but that's where you would actually put that in. So that one actually would work in the truck. It might be a little hard to tighten because of that. But if you have a CD player kind of up here, like where your normal ones are, this mount would actually be pretty awesome. So, I don't know what that is, a little pad or something. And we've got the actual mount here. So this is universal, it fits most smartphones. You know, your Androids, your Samsung, your Google, your iPhones, all the good phones. It fits all the major ones. And then it's got this little extendable arm. I think it rotates like 195 degrees or extends and pivots 195 degrees sorry and then it's got this little suction cup on it so this would be cool pretty cool to try out. i really am interested in the wireless charging though i'm huge on wireless charging i wish i would have got the upgrade for the ram that has the wireless charging pad right here but now that i have this cell phone mount i might not need to upgrade to that so we'll check this out in just a second that's where i've got my phone mounted right now so you can turn it to the side which is pretty cool and this is an iphone xr plus so it's a pretty heavy phone and it holds it very well so what i just did as far as the truck goes once again if you guys want to check those out it is grip you can go to watchmegrip.com is their website like i said you can buy these on verizon's website as well but anyways i did reset the gas mileage on the truck almost a full tank a little bit under a full tank but we're gonna get an accurate mile per gallon reading with the mustang behind i have towed a car before it was my brother's car and i haven't towed with this trailer before it was a different trailer so i always like to kind of retest the setup and this truck does have 285s on it so it's a little bit bigger tire than your factory tire and it does have a one and a half inch lift in the front and like i said if you guys would be so kind as to comment down below some airbags that i could run in this truck a really good you know cost effective would be nice too but i will pay for something that's a little bit nicer quality but i just need some simple airbags in the back just to level out the truck when i'm towing i'm not going to be towing all the time but when i am towing my car i want it to be as safe as possible so i'd like to have the rear up just a little bit but that's why trucks come from the factory with the little rake that way when you tow or put weight in the back it levels the truck out but uh, other thing to note this truck does have 392 gears so it can tow a little bit more however it does eat up the gas mileage just a little bit more than your typical Ram 1500 so I'm gonna get some food and then I will see you guys on the highway okay, so the truck is towing just fine it's going 71 miles an hour and uh, yeah it's pulling the car really easily so this is a 2018 Mustang and like I said I think it's a 20 foot single car 
car trailer. And this is obviously well below its towing capacity, but if this is what you're getting the truck for, this is what I got this truck for. It tows it just fine. I feel like I could go across the country with it, no problem. Now here's the thing that I was kind of wondering about was I did a muffler delete on the truck because this does have the 5.7 liter Hemi and it's always nice to hear a little bit of exhaust note. You don't want it too obnoxiously loud, especially for me because it's my daily driver. And uh, so I was kind of worried about the exhaust drone on the highway, especially towing loads. And uh, it's, honestly, you can't hear it at all. If I had the music on, you would not hear anything. So with the music off and it completely quiet in here, you can hear just a slight exhaust note. You know that the truck is there, but it's not obnoxious, it's not droning at all. So if you're wanting to muffler delete your truck, I would highly recommend it if you want to hear that little bit of exhaust note of the Hemi. But the truck is towing just fine right now. Obviously, we've only been on the road mm, maybe 30 miles. So we're averaging about 9.6 miles per gallon. It's pretty flat from Amarillo to Lubbock. So there's no inclines. So I can't give you a true testament of the gas mileage, but I did tow my brother's charger to Houston and there was definitely some hills going that way. So you can check that video out if you want to see kind of the gas mileage with the same setup, but with a little bit heavier car and going through some hills. But right now at 75 miles an hour, the speed limit went up. So 75 miles an hour, we are averaging 9.6 miles per gallon, which is not bad for a gas truck with a little bit bigger tires than factory and with a spacer lift in the front. So I will check in with you guys in a little bit. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video so far. We did actually end up averaging about eight and a half miles per gallon, which is pretty consistent with what I was getting last time I was towing a vehicle with my 2019 Ram 1500. So once again, it does have a one and a half inch front spacer lift, some 285 inch tires. It does have wheel spacers on it and uh, it is the 392 gear ratio. So it eats up the gas mileage a little bit more than your typical Ram 1500, but it does have a little bit more towing capacity and that's why I got that gear ratio. But this truck rides super smooth, even with the weight in the back, because it's kind of the opposite of a diesel, really. A diesel truck, you know, like a 2500, 3500, even a gasser, it's got stiffer suspension to handle more weight. So when you're just driving around town unloaded, they ride super rough in the back. But when you put weight on them, they ride super smooth. Typically with a half ton truck, they ride good around town. And then when you put weight on them, they don't ride as good. They're a little more bouncy, but this truck is actually done really well for me. It's not my first time towing with it, but every time I've towed with it, I've never had a problem with it. It rides super smooth. It gets decent gas mileage. I'd like to see a little bit better gas mileage, but you can do that through things with like a Diablo or like the Pulse thing. You know, you can always upgrade some stuff to get the gas mileage a little bit better, but I don't know if I'll do that or not, but I absolutely love towing with this truck. It always serves me well. Make sure you guys check out the grip at watchmegrip.com. They've got some really cool phone holders and uh, suction cup mounts. They've got ones for the dash. They've got the one for the CD player. They've got iPad mounts and they've all got a wireless charger built into them. So I'll be giving some away on my next live chat. So make sure you guys look out for that. But as always, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Make sure you comment down below and make sure you like the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Follow me on Instagram and Snapchat at Vanvy39. I will see you guys on the next one.